Ladies and gentlemen, how y'all doing? It's your friends and mega general Ava coming at you with another episode of Don't Starve Shipwrecked here on 8 Bit Plays. Last episode, we got our channel started up again, and therefore we got this series started up, and it was fun. But I realized after watching it in the editing process that I was trying to play safe in how I used to play while still trying to learn how to do things in the new game. And I'm gonna try to not do that this game. I'm gonna try to figure out how to do things while being super risky because I really really want to learn super fast so that when we get into a legit game I'm really gonna know what to do so first off we're gonna try to do that first of all uh, I also saw a comment shout out to name I forgot somebody in the comments told me that if you build a machete and you do this you can actually wow that gives you what is that? Does that give you more than one? Okay. Oh, oh, I'm out of space. Okay. I'm sure I don't need the balloons unless. Does that work? No way. Okay, yeah, no. Oh, what? I can have six. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. So someone told me in the comments that if you do that and you have the coconuts, you can actually eat the coconuts. So that was a super helpful tip from persons I, whose name I forgot. I literally looked it up as I was starting this episode, which really makes me sad that I forgot. I apologize. Let me find out right now. But as I do that, uh, I'm excited to play this game, but at the same time, I really want to learn how to do things really fast so that I'm used to the game and I can really learn how to do things. I did do a couple risky things uh, in last episode by going through the isosceles triangle. Caleb Reed. Caleb Reed, thank you so much for giving me the helpful tip. Now, there's a thing I want to mention. I haven't eaten in a while. I'd probably do well to put this in a fire first. Wait, I think... So I'm developing a strategy with this game in which I... I, I thought of it recently. If I try to explore the entire, each island that I go to, I realize that I'll have, crap, crap, crap. I realize that I'll have a much better chance of actually, what is that? Can I eat that? No, I can't eat that. Okay. I realize that I have a much, much, much better chance of actually finding out where I can place a base, which is really, really going to be good for me to do and I can still cook stuff on this which really makes me happy. Three, does this actually give me more? It gives me a pretty decent amount. I'm gonna go ahead and eat everything that I have. I thought I picked up a berry berry, but apparently not. You know who I missed who I miss in this game? I really, really, really miss Chester. I haven't seen Chester in a long time. I wanted the Chester plush that they sold on the clay store for a long time but I never ended up buying it sadly I'm pretty sure they're sold out at this point but I really really did want one back in the day you know what I really do need though I really do need a new mouse because not being able to scroll up to see things can I I'm trying to see if I can like zoom in without using my scroll wheel okay well guess not uh, I really, really miss Chester, and I really want to be able to see him again. I don't know how he would necessarily work, you know, with the whole boat system and stuff, but I'm sure it could be interesting to see. I don't know if he's even... Maybe they took him out. If they took him out, I'd be really sad. Is this a separate section of the island? Let's go ahead and cut our way through here. Oh, I was just here. Never mind. Let's go ahead and pick up these berries that are gone because monkeys are scumbags monkeys are the new turkeys I don't think they're gonna be turkeys in this version which is kinda weird a monkey also just ate the snake skin so that's a thing that just happened so there's obviously gonna be a lot of like I, I don't even know what this is pick seaweed can I eat the seaweed I can't not eat the seaweed I have to cook the seaweed I, I assume for it to be safe to eat yeah I'm gonna assume oh whoa this is electric what the heck 
I don't want to mess with that. I'm assuming I can make, like, fishing rods and stuff with the purpose of, like, fishing in here and stuff. Is this the original island we were on? I don't think so. Okay. It's getting dark. I don't really have that much food unless I can eat this seaweed pretty safely. I'm genuinely curious if you can actually like do survive on the water during the nighttime that'd be cool or do you have to be on land I, I'm assuming you actually have to be on land I'm actually just gonna build this here then chop these three down to get a good source of food seems to be a smart idea I'm gonna be honest a lot of this episode is gonna be just trying to figure out things and trying to learn what to do i don't really know what to talk about in these episodes anymore like i used to be able to just drop in new things to talk about all the time but now i, I kind of don't know i kind of don't know what to talk about i don't remember what i used to talk about in these episodes of don't starve um i mean there's a lot of stuff i could theoretically talk about i could talk about my love for movies because i do watch an unholy amount of movies i could talk about i could talk about a whole lot of things i really could but i don't know what do you guys want to hear about? I I love talking about movies, so I guess I'm going to be talking about movies during this. I've been on a really big... Um, oh, I have to chop these up. I forgot. I've been on a really, really, really big animated movie grind recently. And uh, the Lilo and Stitch movie, like the first one, the original Lilo and Stitch movie, is really, really, really good. Um, really beautifully animated. The soundtrack on that movie is incredible. I love it a lot. Oh wow, that actually brings me up by a lot. That's in, that's intense. Let's just go ahead, and take ourselves up to as much as possible right now. Might as well pat ourselves up for the next day. I got to be organizing my in inventory. Yeah, the the original Lilo and Stitch movie is like mad, mad good. I'm not gonna lie. Like I, I was thoroughly, I found myself thoroughly surprised that it was that good. Um, yeah, it's just surprising. I didn't think it, that the movie really has no business being that good. I think it came out in maybe 2002, but then, then I tried to watch the sequel of, uh, what's it called? The sequel of Lilo and Stitch. I think it's called Stitch the Movie. Sticks, Stitch, exclamation point, the movie. Really bad. Like, really not good. It must have gotten a different director or a different something, because that movie... Just, just not good at all. I, it was kind of unbearable. I mean, I see how it could be pretty solid for kids, but man, that movie's not good. I'm genuinely tempted to see if I can jump into another isosceles madoodle. Mainly because I just want to see where it's going to take me. I want to explore as much of the island as possible. I think that'd be pretty solid to do. These episodes fly by, man. I don't remember it being, like, this easy to get down, like, 20 minutes. I'm already, like, 8 minutes into this, and I feel like I haven't done anything yet. Mainly because of the fact that I haven't. We really gotta... You gotta, you gotta... Oh, dang, what the heck is that? That's intense. Runs away from me. I feel like those are the water versions of turkeys or monkeys. They just run away from you. So I can pick up grass in the water. I'm wondering what the difference is between these. These look like piranhas or something. Okay then. See gold. More gold is nice. Go ahead and equip this. So I want to be trying to find a... I, I think I do remember that around this time back in the day of my Don't Starve Glory days that the, around this time would be when I started trying to find a place to lay base. I haven't really found a place to lay base yet. Like this place just seems to be just wooded area. This is a really densely packed wooded area kind of akin to the to the evergreen areas of Ye Old Don't Starve. Ye Old Don't Starve. This is also seems to be a rock biome. What is this? Magma pile. Magma pile? Let me see. I see a golden opportunity. Is there a different... I'm assuming I need a different type of pickaxe. 
to crack those open. And I'm assuming those are going to give me a whole bunch of gold. As Wilson seems to be indicating. So I need to be getting as much rocks as possible. Because I'm going to try to lay down a one of these pretty soon here. I can now. But it's just a matter of trying to find where is the most logical place to drop one of those. I also want to try to find myself some more coconuts, if at all possible. If I can find an area that will have just a whole bunch of coconuts for me, that's probably going to be my best bet. I don't really need too much flint anymore. He says as he only has five flint. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? I was talking about Lilo and Stitch, I think. Stitch the movie is just not a good film. Lilo and Stitch, however, fantastic, fantastic, just on all, by all accounts, just a fantastic film. Really has no business being that good. I feel like this isn't going to be the place where we're going to have great luck in laying a good base down, but I feel like we don't know what a good base could be at this point, so I, I don't want to make that assumption that I know that this won't be a good place, because near a rock-ish type of biome, is pretty solid I remember back in the day you had to find back in my day like two years ago or like a year ago really when I was actually good at this game the place to find huh let's see that spider that spider nest through my train of thought in every direction possible um I remember back in the day you had to find a place where a lot of beefalo were and if you could find a lot of beefalo then you could have good luck in terms of setting up a really good base. I also can't fit any of this crap anymore. You can take one of those. Okay. Organize my inventory a little bit more. I want to here be evil. Here be evil? Do all of them? Are all of them evil? Monkeys are bad, apparently, in Wilson's eyes. Okay, so I feel like this is not the place where we're going to be. I don't see a lot of abundance of resources. I see a lot of trees, which is good if I'm lacking wood, but I'm not really lacking wood by any sense of the word. So I don't think that's the place where I'm going to be laying my claim. And I don't know if I'm making a good decision here by jumping onto this thing. Oh, what is that? Chimney? Fire and wind don't mix. Limestone. Where do I get limestone? I think this is a really good thing to build a chimney. Chimneys are sick. Wobster. Wobster den. Okay. So it seems to me that the animals on land have water counterparts. Like these seem to be. Well, I don't know. Maybe. I want to see if I can find myself land here anytime soon. That'd be really nice. I don't think I'm going to end up finding land out here. Probably not. I want to, I should probably make my way towards land, dude. This is not a good idea for me to be doing this. Uh, yeah, we need to find some land sooner than later. Hmm. Hmm, I'm getting a little bit nervous. It's only day four. I'm gonna have this. Oh my gosh, you can't have this equipped. Oh man, we need to get to land. Dude, I didn't realize you couldn't hold a torch while rolling. Okay, exit. Uh, fire. Boom shakalaka. Alright, we don't need this anymore. That was waste, I know. That's fine. I didn't think that you couldn't hold one of those while you were... I didn't think you, could, you couldn't hold one of those while you were rowing. It only makes sense you can row with one arm unless Wilson is a weak mother hugger. He can't row and hold something at the same time like he needs two arms to row which seems to be the case okay that's something new that that I can learn from that oh uh, what else what else is interesting to talk about uh, movies more movie stuff uh, I want to make a civil war video on Big Pond Media if you don't know Big Pond Media 
is the whole movie the movie channel that I run uh, that's kind of been inactive for a little bit now I want to come back to that channel by doing something either Civil War related or short film related and I have a short film almost done it's just the fact that I, I just need a couple more shots for it and I haven't done those shots yet or rather I need to redo some of the shots that I've already done um I want to come back to that but I also want to really do a Civil War video because I, I in short like most people loved Civil War can I actually hack this down with this I can pick up bamboo what is I don't think I need bamboo um what's it called what was I saying I I really liked Civil War like most people did and I really want to make a video about it as to certain things not just a normal review I want to make a video uh, that relates to the fact that the movie is really really well crafted and the themes that the movie um, the themes that the movie explores is really 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 good and really well done I really enjoyed what the movie was trying to go for during its entire runtime and I really really loved it but I really want to make a video about it it's just that I haven't done anything on Big Pond Media in a pretty decent amount of time at this point and I really oh shoot why did I do that so do these things just give me speed boosts I think I think these things just give me speed boosts in whatever direction I'm going in okay that's cool um but yeah Oh, I was, I, ooh, the shipwreck. Pick wreck. Can I pick the wreck? What is that? Limpets. Or limpets. I kind of don't want to eat limpets. Whoa, okay, okay. Oh! 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 What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? I'm dipped. I'm dipped. You want to go, bro? Oh, what? What? Okay, so apparently if... What? Limestone? Okay, apparently if you get hit by one of those, you die. Or apparently if you're... That, that makes sense. I don't know what I expected there. If you fall into the water, you die. That makes sense. Man, so that was the shipwreck. Or is there more than one shipwreck? Or is that the only one shipwreck? Okay. Okay, I see what we're doing here. That makes sense. I'm not salty about that death. Because I kind of expected it. I just didn't expect it to come from that. I thought I was going to die from... Is this going to... Those things are going to be the end of me. Well. Okay. Well, that's a thing that happened. So we know... That there's an X there. Okay. I really need a scroll wheel on my mouse. Dang, dude. I didn't see that coming. I did not think that that was going to kill me. Alright, that's fine. You learn, you learn, and you learn. You keep learning. It's fine. It's not a big deal. I feel like... <laughs> a big part of me knew I shouldn't have been trying to go for that. But... At the same... Like, go for that kill, I mean... But, I mean, I still wanted to see, like, if I could, if I could do, you know, it's, do, playing, playing Don't Starve, and if you're new to the game, do the game of Don't Starve, then you gotta know, like, playing this game is, a lot of it is just living and learning, man, like, you gotta keep going, uh, regardless of what the game throws at you, you just gotta keep going, keep trying to play and keep trying to learn new things, because if you don't, and you try to try to skip out on the game and you try to just like cheat and look stuff up on the internet you're not gonna have as much fun like this game is really fun because of the fact you learn what to do in the game and that's really important what I should probably be doing is looking for wood to chop down for trees to chop down so I can get some wood uh, we're gonna just keep going as if that never happened because in my eyes it never did I really want to Knock this tree down and that freaking monkey's not next to me. It's not a big deal. I knew I had a touchstone active, so that's nice. Don't. There we go. Okay. I really wanted the, co the coconut. 
I'm gonna get a whole bunch of coconuts so I can pad my stats again. And then we're just... What the? That can hurt me? What the? I didn't even know that could happen. Oh my word, dude. This game... Coconuts are gonna, are gonna kill me. Coconuts will literally kill me. I can't do that anymore for risk of dying. And I really don't want to die by coconuts dropping on me. That'd be really embarrassing. Okay, that's a lot already. I'm good with that. Now we just need to pick, pick up some flowers, get our sanity up, and then we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. I believe that we're going to be okay. I don't feel like this world has completely forsaken us. I feel like there's a... What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, what? Were, the, were those things not friendly? What was that? What? I could. I thought these things were like the equivalent of the new beefal buffalo. Beefalo? Beefalo. And they wouldn't hurt you if you didn't hurt them. Well, five days for our first run. I'm not salty at all. It's only episode two. We're going to come back in the next episode and we're going to learn and we're going to figure out how to do things. Next episode, I'm actually going to go in with a strategy, which is going to be really fun. I see on the top right over there that... that, that thing was kind of freaking out so i'm assuming those things are i'm gonna treat those things as hostile from now on i'm not mad because i know i can be able to do better i'm gonna be able to come back and do better in the next episode thank you guys so much for watching we're gonna cut this episode off here i'll see you guys in the next one i really want to pick up overwatch so i want to go play that right now uh plus i got some other stuff to do i'm gonna come back in the next episode tomorrow and it's gonna be really fun and i'm excited thank you guys again so much for watching and drop in the comment section below if you have anything to tell me and uh yeah oh and no spoilers for the game man let me let me learn how to figure things out on my own yeah thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you on the next one he's attacking a butterfly it's messed up